If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. To format a shape in Publisher, click it to select it. If you are selecting a text box or word art as a shape, ensure you click its border so the border appears as a solid line. This means the shape is selected and not its text. After you select a shape in Publisher, the Shape Format contextual tab then appears in the ribbon. This tab provides the shape formatting options in Microsoft Publisher. To insert shapes in Publisher, select a shape from the large scroll box in the Insert Shapes button group on the Shape Format contextual tab of the ribbon. This works the same as the Shapes button on the Insert tab of the ribbon, which we covered in the Inserting Shapes lesson in the previous chapter of this tutorial. To edit a selected freeform shape in Publisher if needed, click the Edit Shape button in the Insert Shapes button group on the Shape Format contextual tab of the ribbon. Then select the Edit Points command from its drop-down menu to show its editing points. Then click and drag the editing points to change the contours of the shape. To set the new contours of the shape when finished, either select the Edit Points command again, or press the Escape key on your keyboard. To substitute a new shape for a selected shape in Publisher, Click the Change Shape button in the Insert Shapes button group on the Shape Format contextual tab of the ribbon. Then click a new shape in the drop down menu. To add text to a selected shape in Publisher, or edit text within a selected shape by placing the shape into its text editing mode, click the Edit Text button in the Insert Shapes button group on the Shape Format contextual tab of the ribbon. To apply a preset shape style to a selected shape in Publisher, click to select a shape style in the large scroll box in the Shape Styles button group on the Shape Format contextual tab of the ribbon. To fill the inside of a selected shape in Publisher with a color, picture, gradient, or texture, Click the Shape Fill drop down button in the Shape Styles button group on the Shape Format contextual tab of the ribbon. Note that this button is unavailable for shapes without any fillable area like lines and arrows. To select a fill color, click one of the color choices in the Shape Fill buttons drop down menu. Alternatively, to select a custom color, select the More Fill Colors command to open the Colors dialog box. To select a standard color, click the Standard tab in the Colors dialog box and then select one of the colors in the Honeycomb of Color Choices. Alternatively, to apply a custom color, click the Custom tab and then select the color you want. To select an exact Pantone color match for the fill in Microsoft Publisher, click the Pantone tab and then select the desired choice. To set the color transparency on any of these three tabs, use the transparency slider at the bottom of these tabs. To apply a selected color, if you opened the color dialog box, click the OK button. 
Alternatively, to apply a tint to a selected shape in Publisher as a fill effect, select the Tints command from the Shape Fill Buttons drop down menu to open the Fill Effects dialog box and show the Tint tab. Then select the Base Color from the Base Color drop down and select a shade of that color from the Tint slash Shade list above that. Then click the OK button to apply that tint to the selected shape. Alternatively, to fill a selected shape in Publisher with a color sampled from elsewhere within the publication, select the Sample Fill Color command from the Shape Fill Buttons drop down menu. Then click the color in the page to sample. Separately, to remove an applied fill color from a shape in Publisher, Select the No Fill command from the Shape Fill Buttons drop down menu. Alternatively, to insert a picture into a selected shape in Publisher as a background fill effect, select the Picture command from the Shape Fill Buttons drop down menu of choices to open the Insert Pictures dialog box. Then select a picture from your computer or from the available online resources to use as the fill effect for the selected shape. Alternatively, to apply a gradient to a selected shape in Publisher as a fill effect, roll over the Gradient command in the Shape Fill Buttons drop-down menu. Then click the Preset Gradient to apply. Alternatively, to apply a texture to a selected shape in Publisher as a fill effect, roll over the Texture command in the Shape Fill Buttons drop-down menu. Then click the Texture to apply. To apply a pattern to a selected shape in Publisher as a fill effect, select the Pattern command from the Shape Fill Buttons drop down menu to open the Format Shape pane and choose the Pattern Fill option button within its Fill section. Then scroll to the bottom of this pane to select a foreground and background color from the color pickers. Then click the Pattern to Apply within the Pattern section above that. Finally, click the OK button in the pane to apply it. To format a selected shape's border, or format selected line and arrow shapes in Publisher, click the Shape Outline drop-down button in the Shape Styles button group on the Shape Format contextual tab of the ribbon. To apply a line color to the selected shape, Select a color in the color palette of choices in the Shape Outline Buttons drop-down menu. If needed to remove a line color from a selected shape, choose the No Outline command from the Shape Outline Buttons drop-down menu. Note that the line color options in Publisher are the same as the fill color options you just examined. To change the width of a selected shape's line, roll your mouse pointer over the Weight command in the Shape Outline Buttons drop-down menu and then select a choice. To choose a different dash style for a selected shape's line, roll your mouse pointer over the Dashes command in the Shape Outline Buttons drop-down menu and then select a choice. To change the end points of a selected line or arrow shape in Publisher, roll your mouse pointer over the Arrows command in the Shape Outline Buttons drop-down menu of choices, and then select a choice from the side menu that appears. Like the Shape Fill, to apply a pattern to a selected shape's line in Publisher, select the Pattern Choice in the Shape Outline Buttons drop-down menu, and then follow the same steps as when applying a pattern as a Shape Fill, which we just examined.
to apply a shape effect to a selected shape in Publisher. Click the Shape Effects drop-down button in the Shape Styles button group on the Shape Format Contextual tab of the ribbon. Then roll over a type of shape effect to apply, grouped by category, in the button's drop-down menu. Then click to apply a variant of the selected effect category in the side menu that appears. To select a text wrapping style to apply to a selected shape in Publisher, Click the Wrap Text drop-down in the Arrange button group on the Shape Format Contextual tab of the ribbon and select a choice from the drop-down. To change the order in which selected shapes overlap each other in a page in Publisher, Click either the Bring Forward or Send Backward drop-down button in this same button group. To align selected shapes in Publisher, click the Align button in the Arrange button group on the Shape Format contextual tab of the ribbon, and then choose an alignment option in the menu of choices that appears. To group multiple selected shapes together as a single unit, click the Group button in the same button group. To split a grouped object back into its individual object components, click the Ungroup button. To rotate a selected object, click the Rotate button in the same button group and then select a rotation option from the drop down menu that appears. To adjust the vertical or horizontal size of a selected shape in Publisher, use the Height and or Width spinners in the Size button group on the Shape Format Contextual tab of the ribbon. Alternatively, type a numerical measurement directly into the Height and Width fields. To show a measurement panel in Publisher that lets you enter very specific measurements for a selected shape, Click the Measurement button in the Size button group on the Shape Format Contextual tab of the ribbon. Then enter the desired measurement values into the fields in the panel. To show the name of a field and the values you can enter within it if needed, hover your mouse pointer over a field in the Measurement panel. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos, see our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.